online on the model it looked super cute and then i got it and it looks like this <laughs> Hello beautiful people, welcome to Closet Confections. I'm your host Kendra and today we are just going to ignore this little pimple. She just showed up completely unannounced and I'm like, hello, we are social distancing, what are you doing? <laughs> But seriously, guys, I have lots and lots of new accessories and goodies to share with you guys. So recently, I've really been on the hunt for things to kind of add some zhuzh to my wardrobe. So I did a handbag haul recently, and I've also gotten in lots of shoes, um, some necklaces, some headbands, some jewelry, just some things to like add a little extra oomph to my outfits. So without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, but first... Let me show you today's outfit because it's pretty cute if I do say so myself. Okay, peeps, so today's ensemble you may recognize from a recent haul video I did, but it's this gorgeous pink poplin dress that I got from H&M recently. And I love just this crisp cotton. And it also has these little clips on the inside to hold your bra in place. I love details like that. So I wish more dresses had that. <laughs> And I have paired it with my pink studded coach sandals that I've had for years and years and years. And of course, my favorite, how could I resist, Colt Gaia geometric hoop earrings. So that is today's look. Now on to the new stuff. Okay, peeps, so as I'm looking around, there's like a lot of stuff. So I think that we're gonna start with shoes and work our way up. I think that'll be the best way to tackle this. For starters, I got a goodie in from Netta Porte. They are having such a good sale right now, guys. If you have not been to their site and if you're into like designer goodies for less, definitely check them out. So I got a pair of Castanier. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a Spanish brand, but a pair of shoes from them. So this first pair, I think are the 60 millimeter um, espadrille wedges and of course as always I will pop links to everything down below so you can shop but oh, aren't they beautiful so here's the other one I will just show you I'll take the paper out <sighs> look at these little espadrilles so I love that the wedge isn't too high it's enough to give me some height and like elongate my legs but it's very very comfortable to walk in and then I also got another pair of castanier or castanier i don't know i don't speak spanish <laughs> another pair of espadrilles from this brand and this pair i got from blue fly so normally these shoes i think are maybe like 100 110 125 dollars a pair the meta porte ones i think were like 60 bucks and then the pair that i got from blue fly which i'm going to show you were maybe like 70 65 or 70 dollars so again, we went with another classic wedge espadrille, but these are a little bit different than the other ones. So for starters, actually, is the heel, I'm trying to see if the heels are the same height. No. So this heel is slightly taller. I think this is the 80 millimeter, still extremely comfortable. I've worn these out. And then what I liked is that these have a much pointier toe. I love that looks so feminine, very dainty, but so comfortable to walk in. <laughs> so moving along with shoes, Coach. Oh my gosh, guys. I think I talked about this in my last video about handbags, but Coach has really been like stepping up their game lately. Their shoes are amazing. So I have two so pairs of sandals from Coach, and I will show you the first. So these are like I call uh, dad sandals. <laughs> They're actually really close, um, you know, cousins, not, you know, knockoffs of the Chanel dad sandal. And these are so kind. I don't know these ugly sandals when they first hit the scene i was like mm, i don't know about these <laughs> but i have grown to love them i have a pair of tevas now i bought those j crew kind of ugly sandals and now i have these i might get a pair of birkenstocks i don't know who am i <laughs> i'm a gal who looks good but is still comfortable that's who i am um but anyway i cannot recommend these enough and they also come in a blush pink color 
And next up from Coach, these might be from the Coach Outlet. I'm not sure. The Coach Outlet and the Coach Main site both have like amazing deals and amazing selections. But these sandals, oh, I love these so much. I actually might get another pair because I've been wearing these pretty much like every day <laughs> since I got them. So there was absolutely no break-in period for these. And they have a really cushiony footbed. And I like this little buckle detail. Yes, it is the C for Coach, which could be a little brandy, but I feel like it's subtle enough where like you wouldn't, you know, necessarily look at these and think they scream Coach. And I think they also come in black. So I might get the black pair. I might get a backup pair of these brown ones. Cause like I said, I have been wearing these to death since I got so them. next up from Madewell I got a pair of boardwalk sandals and I like them so much that I got them twice yes I also got the exact same pair of sandals in black as well so the boardwalk sandals like I said come in lots of silhouettes so if you don't necessarily like this style with like the buckle around the ankle they have different styles that you can choose from and guess what guys they were 10 dollars <laughs> so that's why i got two pair and i might even if they go on sale like that again i'll get another pair i think normally they're like 50 or 60 bucks a pop but like for ten dollars like i couldn't really pass those up right all right gang so this next two pair of shoes are probably my favorites out of the bunch so first up i will show you these beautiful pair of shoes from bar three i believe these are exclusively sold at macy's here they are so yes i was on the hunt for a pair of shoes with this like clear or pale and these so, are on sale i think i got these for like 40 bucks and I really, really like them. So I like that the heel is low, so they're very comfortable to walk in. And they have like a pretty cushioned footbed as well. Um, but they still make a statement. So that being said, I mentioned to you guys that there was another pair that I really wanted <laughs> that were a couple hundred bucks. Um, and because you know your girl is a bargain shopper, um, I found them on sale. So I went on to the net a porte site. I told you guys they have some really good deals right now. Uh, and I found so, yes, so. Colt Gaia. If you've hung around here any length of time, you know that I'm absolutely enamored with this brand. I have two of their handbags. I'm wearing these earrings. I have the bracelet that I bought. So I figured why not go ahead and get some shoes too. <laughs> Ta-da! Here they are, my new beauties. So now you're like, Kendra, those look just like the other shoes. I know, but there's some key differences allow me to explain uh, so first off uh these are tan also too these have the square toe which is very in right now i think that trend really got popularized by the bottega veneta sandals that have the square toe they're like all over social media so these are kind of like a nod to that um and these also have the double clear straps here and i don't know there's just something about a good quality shoe like i feel like dupes and um less expensive shoes just they never quite um hit the mark exactly so these just look nice on the foot <laughs> they both look nice but these just have like a little extra something so i'm gonna style up both of these pairs in an upcoming video but let me know down in the comments let me know what you think so contrasting these at 40 bucks compared to these i think originally are like 400 maybe 450 i got them on sale for half off so i think i paid around like 210 dollars for these so let me know um if you want the look for less i cannot recommend these enough okay and last but not least for shoes uh i don't know if you guys know this but i'm really into what i call nerdy shoes <laughs> and those are anything like penny loafers saddle shoes um boat shoes things like that i call them nerdy shoes i have a whole collection and one of my favorite companies to buy nerdy shoes from is gh bass so gh bass is really well known for a style of shoe called the Weijin, short for no norwegian I'll look up the history about why it's called that but any case um, <laughs> I have several pairs of Weijins and I've added two new pairs to my collection so first up are these white leather pebble leather loafers <sighs> these shoes are so freaking comfortable oh my goodness I think this is like my third or fourth pair of Weijins um, and these are for summer so they have like a cork footbed 
and they just go with so much it's a nice alternative if you don't want to wear white sneakers or white tennis shoes like if that's not your vibe um this is like a great alternative i had another pair of loafers from cole han that were super comfortable very similar style to the next pair that i'm going to show you but i wore those on our road trip through switzerland with pretty much every outfit that i brought with me and they were so flipping comfortable so cute so chic that I decided to get them the colorway that I had before was like brown and white I decided to get a black and white pair GH Bass Legions came to the rescue and I've added to my collection with these shoes I love these so much I posted these on Instagram recently and I was really surprised that a lot of you guys really like them too I thought that you know my nerdy shoe um kick was just kind of like a weird quirk <laughs> for me but it turns out a lot of you apparently like nerdy shoes too who knew but in any case these are gorgeous and beautiful and i can wear these into the fall and then all of my Weijins are pretty comfortable but these are especially comfortable like look at the footbed in here you see this little extra padding they have here right at your instep oh my gosh these are like just heaven to your feet <laughs> all right guys so that is it for shoes I know, sadly, but we are moving up. <laughs> so I have not purchased a belt in like years. I don't know why I used to have like a whole collection of belts, but I don't know, for whatever reason, um, I just stopped wearing them. <laughs> so this is a big deal. But recently I added this one to my collection. So this is just like a little cheapy belt that I got from where did I get this from? Amazon. Yes, I think this belt was like $15. And I just noticed with some of my like summer dresses, um, they just need a little extra something to kind of like make them look a little bit more <sighs> expensive, a little more chic. So enter this belt. I loved the rattan. I loved the square shape. It kind of reminded me of a similar belt that Gold, Gold Kaya. It kind of reminded me of a similar belt that Cult Gaia used to carry. And that one sadly sold out on me, so I got this. I thought that this buckle was going to be a bit bigger, but it turns out this one works really well. It's really cute. It just adds a little extra something to my outfits. And in that vein, the next thing that I got... <laughs> was this bracelet from Cult Gaia. So yeah, the reason why I wanted this to have a bigger buckle was to kind of play off of this huge bracelet here. So now you're probably thinking like, Kendra, what is that? <laughs> so it's a bracelet. My husband was like, is that a coaster? But no, it's a bracelet. Your hand goes through it. And I got this bracelet from this is from amazon it's like this little tortoise cell tortoise why can't i talk today this happens every time i film <laughs> but i got this tortoise shell and loose sight bracelet from amazon to kind of stack the two and this when i put my hand down it keeps this bracelet from like slipping off my wrist and i really like the way those look paired together it's kind of hard to show you now so i will pop a picture up it looks really cute i promise <laughs> and let's see oh more bracelets from amazon um, so any case here's the plan <laughs> i got these bracelets on amazon which are kind of like david Yerman knockoffs sorry <laughs> and they're these like stainless steel cable bracelets and they have different details so this first one just has the gold around the edge with a little black sort of onyx onyx uh, <laughs> um tips on the end and i got another one that has um sort of a similar design but slightly different and then this one with the two like gold arrows um around them and the plan i think is just to see number one how often will i reach for these to like stack on my arm so if it turns out that I wear these a lot, which I think that I will, especially come fall, like especially with this colorway and maybe even layer it with my Hermes bracelet, I think that I will wear these a lot. I've so far, I've worn them like a few times since I purchased them. Um, and if I find that I wear these as often as I think that I will, I think that one by one, <laughs> I will replace them with actual David Yurman pieces. And then I'm also thinking that I will get a real David Yurman ring to go with it, kind of to complement the set. So I like to do that. That's like a little fashion tip. I like to mix like, you know, a little bit of high, low, because I feel like if I layer this with my Hermes bracelet and like I have a nice watch with like diamonds in it, 
people will probably assume it's real David Yerman. And then over time, you know, maybe or maybe not, <laughs> I will replace them with real David Yerman. So yeah, that's the plan on that. <laughs> All right, so we are working our way up. So we did shoes, belts, bracelets. So now we will go to the decolletage and where are my necklaces? Oh. I found them. So I am like a child of the 90s um, when herringbone, gold herringbone necklaces were in style. So this is not real gold. I got this from, where did I get this from? Madewell. Yes, I got this necklace from Madewell. It had great reviews. I think that it's brass and it has um, gold plating. And people it. were saying that they shower in these necklaces, they work out in them, have had them for months, and they have not tarnished, so I have high hopes. But this is the first necklace. It's like uh, this adjustable herringbone necklace. And I will just pop this on for you guys so you can see me wear it. So yeah, it has three different um, loops here so you can adjust the length. And I like to wear it on its longest loop. And then I also got this geometric necklace also to its brass with like a gold um, filigree. And the same thing, it's adjustable, has like three different loops. So this one I like to wear um, and make it shorter, so more like a choker. And I just think that this is such a pretty look. Like it makes a statement and it makes an impact but you know, it's not like too much. And you can also wear these pieces separately. So it's a little bit dainty, but it's still, you know, it has a little bit of zhuzh. So yes, honey. <laughs> and I'm just gonna leave these on. All right, so working our way up, we have earrings. So I think I previewed these in another video, but I just wanna give a shout out again to Tiny Tassel and these gorgeous, beautiful so fun uh flamingo earrings so they're made with like raffia and aren't these just like adorable i actually wore them um i posted on my instagram if you're not following me there you're really missing out uh, but i wore them on instagram with this dress and it was just such a cute and fun look so if you are looking to support black owned businesses this is a great one to support she has tons of cute designs um the cutest instagram page as well so yes Love these. Next. All right. <laughs> I even debated including um, one of these pieces that's coming up in this review just because I don't know. Guys. So I've mentioned before I have insomnia and it's been like really bad since the pandemic. Like I am regularly up until like two or three o'clock in the morning. In case in one of my late nights, uh, I went on like a little shopping binge and bought some questionable pieces. <laughs> one of which i'm gonna show you so first before we get to the questionable piece but first i want to give proper air time to this beautiful headband that i got from sika designs another black owned business and this one i thought was so cute so yeah i thought this would be adorable i have a hot pink dress that this looks super cute with and also on days when like i haven't really done much to my hair i can just slick it back into a low bun pop this on pop on a pair of gold hoops and be ready to go and then the second headband, guys. <laughs> All right, hear me out. So in my last video about handbags, I told you about a brand, Ellie Erpy, which makes gorgeous um, hats. So I purchased a handbag from them. There is a hat that I also want to get from them. So they have like really fabulous straw hats and whatnot. Um, the hat that I wanted was a little bit more than I wanted to pay. So I was like, oh, let me try like a unique headband. <laughs> So I, I don't know, online on the model, it looked super cute. And then I got it and it looks like this. <laughs> Let me look in the mirror. I have to like comb it out. I know that's ridiculous. You have to comb out a headband, but I don't know. I kind of, it kind of gives me Lion King vibes. <laughs> um, <clears throat> my husband, when I was trying it on, when I was combing it out and then trying it on, my husband walked by and was just kind of like, I'm not even going to touch that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm curious to know. Let me know what you guys think about this headband. Like I said, um, it looked really cool on the model. And I even bought a dress that kind of matches it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a styling video and wear this with one of the dresses. I bought two dresses. 
I had a whole look at like two o'clock in the morning. I was like, yes, you know, I had a whole thing going. So, you know, I thought it could be a vibe. So <laughs> curious to know your thoughts down in the comments. Do you think that I can pull this off or do you think I am crazy? <laughs> All right, so we are rounding up. So last two pieces I'm very excited about. One is from J. Crew, and it is this gorgeous straw hat. I popped on this like Chanel, vintage Chanel brooch um, that I've had for years just to kind of give it a little extra zhuzh, but oh, I love this hat so much. It reminds me of like a much more expensive version um, that is out there. So this is like a terrible hairstyle to, to try this hat on with. So I will pop some pictures up and show you guys how I've worn it. But oh, this is so fabulous. I've worn it to the beach. I've worn it just out in the city and oh, I love it. And then the second hat, I mentioned to you guys before, I love boater hats, especially in the summer. And I love lack of color. Lack of Color is a really great brand. I feel like they have really high quality um, hats. They're based in Australia. So they're really high quality hats, but they're at a really good price point. But in any case, I was in sore need of replacing my Forever 21 boater hat that I've had for so many freaking years. And I got this beauty. This is the Spencer boater hat and it comes in different like widths for the brim there's one that's like really huge and dramatic but i figure i already have enough dramatic hats this is like just an everyday like toss on boater hat and i got it in the size large one because i have a big head and also two i can wear it kind of back on my head like halo style which i like to do so yes that is my new hat my new chapeau <laughs> All right, guys, that is it. There was a lot of stuff here, but we got through it all. Definitely let me know your favorite pieces down in the comments. And <laughs> especially let me know what you think about this headband. Oh my gosh, I still can't believe I bought this. <laughs> um, in any case, I will drop links down below so you can shop everything that you've seen in this video. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in. Listen to me talk about clothes, talk about accessories, try on weird stuff <laughs> i appreciate you guys so much so thanks for tuning in please give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already don't know what you're waiting for subscribe and hit the bell for notifications i put out videos like this weekly sometimes twice and as always stay classy and stay fabulous